Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to fix this exit code one that you get when you're trying to play Forge within Minecraft. Now, before we go ahead and fix this error code, we have to understand why this is happening. And there are multiple reasons this could be happening. The first and the most common way that I see this happening is because you're probably trying to run an Optifine version that is not compatible with Forge. For example, as of today, 17 of February of 2024, Optifine 1.20.4 is not compatible yet with Forge 1.20.4. And this is true for most Optifine preview versions. So if you're watching this in the future and you're getting the error code for Forge 1.21 and you're trying to run Optifine as the preview version, that is most likely why your Forge version is crashing and you have to go to your mods folder and delete Optifine. That is the number one reason that I see nowadays. Another option, it could be that one of your mods is outdated. And we're going to go ahead and head over to the mods folder. To do that, just click on installations, hover over Forge and click on this little folder right here. That is going to open this folder with a lot of files and look for the mods folder. So you can see we have this mods folder in here. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so we could see. And as you can see, we have two mods in here. Chances are you probably have more mods than me. What you have to do in here is try and figure out which mod is causing the crash. If you notice that after you added a certain mod, let's say that you had like 10 mods in here and then you decided to download a new one and you added it in here and now you're having that crash, chances are it's that mod that you added. What I recommend is that you take out all the mods. So like you create a folder in your desktop. So let's name it Forge. You name it Forge or whatever you want to name it. This is just for us to test which mod is not working. And then what you're going to do is take out all your mods in here. Right, you're going to leave the mods folder empty within the Minecraft instance. And what you're going to do is to start adding mods one by one and then launching the game. So you add one mod, you launch the game using Forge. And if you have that crash, well, you're going to figure out which mod was causing the crash. Now, if you notice that your game is still crashing, even without mods, right? Let's say that you go and run Forge right now and you get the exit code one. Then in that case, if you're still getting the error code after you got rid of all the mods and you're still getting that error code and you're like, you know what? It can be the mods because I'm still getting the error code. Then there's two options left to do. What I'm recommending here is that you get rid of this Forge instance, just delete it completely. And that's what I'm actually going to do. Delete the Forge instance and now install Forge all over. If you want to install Forge, it's super simple. We have an article on how to do that, but I'm going to go ahead and install Forge real quick. You could follow this by clicking the second link in the description, click download, and then look for Forge 1.20.4. Click where it says installer, and then just give it a couple seconds in here to get, after five seconds, you'll get this a skip button right here on the top right. Click skip, and then download Forge 1.20.4 and install it all over. So do a fresh install of Forge. That is one way of fixing it. And let's say that after you install Forge, which I'm about to do, I'm just waiting for this download to finish. Let's say that after you install Forge or whatever reason, you got rid of all your mods, you reinstall Forge. And remember, anytime you're going to install Forge, go ahead and close your Minecraft launcher. You always want to have your Minecraft launcher closed completely. So let's say that you're trying to install Forge. You install Forge. Everything is fine. You install Forge. You got rid of all your mods, but you're still getting that exit code one what is happening and i get this comment a lot of my comment sections in the forge videos and the modding videos chances are now that you have to update java to java 17 and not just update java sometimes you have to actually head over to your softwares in your computer and get rid of the older versions of java because what happens a lot of times is that if you're running two different versions of Java in your computer, Minecraft will use the wrong version of Java whenever it's launching and it will cause a crash. So let's go ahead and we already installed Forge in there. Now we're going to head back to the Minecraft launcher. So what I'm trying to say is that if you have multiple versions of Java, remember, I'm not referring to Minecraft Java. I'm referring to Java as a software and I'm going to show you what that is in a second. You might still have that crash because, well, your computer doesn't know which Java to use properly, you know, which, which, which is a proper Java to use. So what we're going to do to update and fix Java, first of all, we're going to head over to here to the search bar and we're going to type auto remove programs in here and we're going to go ahead and open that up. Once it's loads in here, we're going to click on search apps and we're going to type Java. That is going to give us which Java we have installed for any Minecraft above 1.16.4 you want to have at least Java 17. Any Minecraft below that will work fine with Java 7 or Java 8, but for anything above Minecraft Java version 1.16.4, you need Java 17. I hope I made myself clear on that. So what I recommend is that if you don't have Java 17, get rid of your older Java's, okay? And you could always go back and re-download those Java's and reinstall it if you need to. But just uninstall your older Java's, head over to the third link in the description, okay? Click on the third link, which is our reading article on how to install Java 17. Now I'm going to walk you through this all you have to do is to scroll down click where it says download and then over here once you're in the java website click on windows select x64 installer click this blue line in here and that will immediately start the download for java 17 and then once java 17 downloaded go ahead and drag and drop it into your desktop 
just like so. And in order to install Java 17, just go ahead and double click it. And once you double click on Java, you might get the administrator prompt. Go ahead and allow it to run and then click next, next, and just wait for Java 17 to install. And now with this fresh installation of Java 17 and Forge recently installed again, we should be good. We should be able to launch the game and not get that error code. Number one, let's go ahead and click close. You can now delete the installer. We head back into Minecraft. And if I click play on Forge, click that you understand the risk because you reinstall it. And as you can see now, I'm not going to get that error that I was getting at the beginning of this video, which was the error code number one. Now, I know why I was getting that error code is because I had the preview of Optifine 1.24, which I know is not compatible with Forge just yet. But as you can see now, Forge launch and Forge is working. I actually think I installed the wrong version of Forge. Um, make sure you don't do that. Make sure you select the 1.20.4. Now it's working. And all we have to do now, if we want to add the mods, is we head back into the Minecraft launcher. We open our mods folder. And remember, we made a backup in here. We could try and add those mods back into that folder. And if we still get that error code, well, then we know it's for sure one of our mods. So we just got to add the mods back into the mods folder and launch the game again. If we're still getting that crash, then you got to do the one by one mod thing where you just start adding them one by one back into the game. And yeah, guys, that is pretty much how to fix that exit code number one for Minecraft or, or for Forge in Minecraft. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and a comment. And as always, bye bye.